This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Saturday, January 18th, 2020. And the title of this rant is, Can the Deep State and the Fourth Estate Save Our Democracy? So what we have right now is a situation where uh, the Vice President Pence is complicit and guilty. The Chief of Staff Mulvaney, complicit and guilty. guilty. The Secretary of State Pompeo, complicit and guilty. Uh, the Attorney General, complicit and guilty. And uh, lots of their staff, lots of their lawyers. This is, and, and in other agencies also. And basically, a huge, huge cover up. And at the same time that they're complicit and guilty in all this, they know what they're doing is wrong. But their lust for power is so absolutely great. You know, years from now, I hope, hope that they will regret it. And let's not forget that from a technical standpoint, the, the 53 Republican senators are basically... You know, they say that, oh, a couple might change. You know, that the outcome is still, realistically, he's going to get off scot-free. And these 53 senators are basically going to perform uh, what white juries did in the South when, let's just say, a white guy was charged with killing a black guy in the South half a century ago or more. They would be going to be to perform what we call jury nullification. They know this guy is guilty of sin. They can't stand this, this rat bastard, but he's their bastard, and they're going to keep him in there. And, of course, let's never, ever forget how these people would be acting if a bummer had even come remotely close to doing anything quite like this. And the thing that concerns me most is yes, what Nancy did helped out by the, the delaying tactic. A lot more evidence has come out. A lot more will continue to come out. These Republican senators have a lot to think about if they acquit him now and more and more drip, drip comes out to show that he's guilty of sin, even though they know he's guilty of sin right now. <laughs> um, but the thing that concerns me most is he is going to go after Every single, let's just say, enemy, whether that enemy is real, imagined, or perceived, and he's going to go after them with, let's say, uh, a sickening lust, uh, is going to be really terrible. And the real question is, like I said, I think there's not, there's not going to be 50 senators, there's not going to be 20-some senators, Republican senators crossing over. But can the deep state, you know, continue to have the drip drip? Can more and more come out? And through the excellent work of a lot of people in the fourth estate. And of course, we, we need to have the fourth estate call it for what it is. Every single thing that this guy does is far and away so totally out of line of what any other president would do, Republican or Democrat. And he has absolutely no right whatsoever to be reelected to another term. Uh, can we please show how God awful, continue to show how God awful this guy is? And in line with that, that has to include every single Republican, because they are all complicit in this. I don't think he's going, to, he's going to, I think he's going to get acquitted, and it's going to be a brutal 10 months until the election, and we have to have the deep state and our fourth estate step up, as, uh, as uh, George Bush, or as Cheney said, big time. <laughs>